Welcome back everyone to another episode of Tolkis Plays Pokemon Platinum. Thank you all for showing up again today. We appreciate the support we've been getting on the series. Just a quick check in with the team to see where we're at. Lisa, Magical Magikarp, level 8. Nessie, uh, level 7 Onyx. Amelia, level 9 Starly. Fiona, level 10 Machop, really coming into her own in the last episode. Sprout, level 9 Badoo, constantly being a surprising help to the team. Samba, level 8. Uh, Shinx, still working its way into the team trying to find his ground, but no doubt as it evolves going to improve. Last time we left off here in Orber, we had made it to the gym. I think we had fought our way through the only two trainers there are to fight, and then we had come to the gym leader. Now I do have some reservations that we might be under leveled, but we're just going to dive in and see how it goes. And if we lose, then we know we've got to train a little bit. But I want to give you guys my first impressions and how I actually think things are going to work. So... We've got, I'm pretty sure, yeah, Lisa's out in front. Um, I know it's risky, and I'm going to have to take a blow to run somebody in, but I want to get Lisa as much experience as I possibly can. Uh, so I'm going to try, at least this first time, to leave it up front and let it soak up some of this experience. So cross our fingers, and we'll hope this goes well. Appreciate everybody coming out today once again. Uh, if you enjoy the video, please go ahead and drop a like. If you enjoy the content regularly and you'd like to get notified when a new episode comes out, go ahead and subscribe. And if you have any comment at all, there's a section down below the video just for that. And we'd love to hear anything that you have to say. Uh, I'm going to give this one to Sprout. I think Geodude's got like a four times weakness to grass. So, clap your little head flowers. Oh, Stealth Rock. Not something that you see um, NPCs use all that much. It's actually probably going to be a problem um, having to swap back and forth at all. If you don't know, um, Stealth Rocks is something that's more prevalent in like um, competitive Pokemon. It causes any time you swap out Pokemon on your team, um, they take some damage, and it's relative to whether they're weak to rock or not, so a flying type would take twice as much damage as someone that didn't have a weakness to rock. Sprout, of course, be able to two-shot that, even from three levels behind. Lisa did get a level out of that, so not a complete waste. But who's even going to squeeze a level out there? Good job, Sprout. Cranking up that special attack. Learn Stun Spore, never a bad thing. This Onyx is probably going to be faster than us, as a matter of fact. I don't know that it's worthwhile to stun it, because it's going to do some pretty serious damage to us, I'm sure. We're going to try. See, it is faster than us. Okay, well that actually wasn't too bad. Because now with the stun spore and the paralysis that comes along with it, we'll be able to go first. Be able to heal some of this back up. That did 9 damage. That looks like at least very close to half, if not all the way half. And it looks like we're maybe getting... I'm going to have to double check here. Yep, that was able to do it. So we got 7 back. We must be doing around 14 damage. The experience bar in this uh, generation moved really slowly. The Sprout is, in fact, going to squeeze out another level. This is very productive for Sprout. And we do have Fiona still in the background in case we need the backup, which we might do. This Cranidos could really be a problem. Uh, I don't think Sprout's going to be able to take this, but I want to be able to try to get the... No, it got a crit. Oh, that's unfortunate. That's really unfortunate. All right, Fiona. It's all up to you. This might go very poorly now. Um, at least that didn't do very much damage. Uh, low kick or karate chop? Is it heavier? And it's rock type, so it's probably pretty heavy. We'll try a low kick. That's not a good thing. Come on, do half. Oh, over half. That's probably going to cause him to use a potion. Yep. Oh, this might be able to do it. Come on. Yeah, we got a crit and all. We did it. 
I'm actually quite surprised. I was really expecting to maybe have to try this one other time with some training in between. Very well done, Fiona. Surely that'll be a level. Yeah, well done. I'm very excited about that. Good job. Great way to start the episode off. Alright, Roark. Thank you very much for the money, and I will take the badge. What? Well, of course you lost to somebody who didn't have any badges. You're the first gem leader. You, <laughs> you would only ever lose to people who didn't have badges. What a silly thing. So we can use Rock Smash, which means we should be able to get through the cave now. TM76. Stealth Rock. Um, uh, incidentally, it's not... Well, he even said incidentally. It's not that useful um, in the main RPG. Just because um, your opponent won't switch out all that much. But still nice to have. Never going to turn down something free. I'm very excited that worked out so well. We'll just heal up a little bit. Alright guys, we're back. We got healed up. Now I am going to take a brief little trip right here outside of town. I'm not going to spend an overabundance of time doing this, but I do know there is at least one other Pokemon we can get here that I'd like to. And this is it. Beautiful. First encounter. Uh, Lisa is not going to be of any use whatsoever in trying to capture this. I actually think Lisa's only about one level away from picking up a... Um, a useful attack of her own. Still never going to be super powerful in this form, but can at least do some of its own training and maybe grow up a little bit quicker. I will probably do that off screen and, and probably won't montage it or anything. Just watching a Magikarp tackle over and over again is usually not all that exciting. Oh, wow. What? I really expected that to do more damage. That one took me by surprise. So we're going to screech it a little bit and see what it, two levels of defense down will do. We're not doing much more than it is to us with a tackle. That didn't do a whole lot, so we can screech it one more time, I think, without being in too much danger. I wasn't expecting this Ponita to give this uh, Onyx very much trouble. Looks like Nessie needs a little bit of training as well. And I guess we'll have to deal with it. One more and we can get it in the yellow. I can start at least attempting to capture it. Oh, I should have bought some more Pokeballs. This may not end well. Oh. We might have to do a little something to it. Uh, it doesn't. Uh, its AI may not would have used one anyway, but it doesn't seem to know a fire move. So I'm fairly secure. We can bring out uh, Sprout and do a little stun spore action, and that might be able to enable us to capture it. That's not what I wanted to do. Last item used. I keep mixing up the um, the buttons. <laughs> do it. Yeah, beautiful. Ponita. Been captured. I did at least want to get a fire type in reserve in case we get to wanting it. And I think this is the only one we can catch for a little ways, so... Alright, I'm going to run back to the Pokemon Center and uh, heal up and buy a few Pokeballs and then I'll be right back with you guys. And we're back guys. I got everybody healed up and we bought a few Pokeballs. I uh, bought a few antidotes and things. Oh, oh, please tell me we're not about to have to do a rival battle. I think I'm probably okay, but... Yep, you can't go north without a bike. There's a little like slide place you have to be able to go fast enough to get up. He never has time to count. God love his heart. Uh, just because we are going to be running into wild encounters in here, I don't think Lisa's going to be of much use out front. So, I, actually, Nessie is the one lagging behind. And will be pretty useful against what we're going to run into here, so. Oh, I say that. We, there are Psyduck here. Oh, whoa. Speaking of, uh, 
Rock Smash, Mr. Roark. We do have to teach that to somebody to get further on. I do hate HM moves with a passion. I'm glad they've gotten rid of them. Um, Fiona can learn it. And it will get the same type attack bonus. Nessie could learn it and get a little tight coverage. I think actually probably the best thing. I don't know. It's not a good move regardless, but we'll get rid of Harden. Probably should have got rid of Bind if anything. I don't like Bind at all. But at least now we can get further along. There is a move to leader somewhere, so we will eventually be able to get rid of it. And we're just going to try to get through the cave today. Side up. Must be pretty prevalent here. Onyx is pretty quick. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, the ability to run from a Pokemon battle is a factor of speed, I want to say. So... Uh, having a fast Pokemon out front gives you a better chance of being able to get away. We'll try to pick up this item. Always take free stuff if you can. Lovely Geodude. We already have one. Something has just come to my attention. I will be right, All right back. Yeah, sorry about the little break there. Had to go around and take care of something in my IRL. And uh, I might be a little lost in here, so I might cut some of this out too. Um, I'm not quite sure how you get through here. You know what? I'm making a big mistake. And I just now realized it. This is not where we go at all. I guarantee you I'm not even supposed to be here right now. It's going to dead end right up here. Because we're supposed to have a bicycle to get through here. I feel so dumb. Um, actually, I'm going to cut right here and I'll be back right with you guys on the uh, other exit to this cave. So I'll see you guys in just a second. And we're back, guys. Now, we're on the other side of the cave coming from Orber. And uh, we went the wrong direction. That was my bad. I missed that item, but I'm not going back for it. I'm sure we will somehow manage without it. A nice, lovely Bidoof here. I'm uh, trying to keep the episodes just a little bit shorter, you might notice. Oh my goodness, cutscene. Wasn't expecting that. That's not conducive to keeping it shorter. Uh, yes. So. Okay, Looker's leaving. Leaving. Not leading. Leaving. And he told me to go to the basement of a Pokemon Center. Oh no! Another cutscene. All right, we will finish this, and then unfortunately we'll probably have to call the episode now, and then we'll come back uh, go into a new area next time. Oh, I've got a uh, Nessie out in front. So uh, Lisa's not going to get any of this experience either. Well, this is what happens when you do a semi-blind playthrough. So <laughs> you just kind of have to roll with stuff when it happens. Uh, da -da -da -da. Yeah, yeah, lots and lots of exposition. The uh, evil team is messing with the professor. He wants us to help. I think this is a double battle with his assistant. Yep. We are pretty behind on levels with Nessie, at least. But uh, we do have some type advantages. So, try to take out the play now. Turtwig's going to be hurt against this poison type. It's super effective, and it does lower the defense. We did get that, so that's nice. We don't have too much to worry about. Um, 
I say that. That doesn't hit both. I guess we'll just stick with it. I wish we got same type attack bonus on that, but not gonna happen. Oh, that's nice. That's at least respectable damage. If uh, Turtwig would help me focus down this Glamio, it would work a lot better. Turtwig is probably about to check out on us. My defense lowered again, so one more attack should do. Yeah! Look! You heard me! Turtwig heard me. Alright. That's one of the boy. Not sure how much longer Turtwig is going to be able to hang around with us. I'm not surviving another poison. Oh, that's that's not okay. It's gonna poison me now, which is actually okay because it means if I get to screech off, this tackle will probably kill it. If that's what Turtwig does, yeah, should be good. Beautiful teamwork. Teamwork makes the dream work. Nessie gets up a level. We saved the Professor from Team Galactic. So we are running a little bit short on how I like to keep things on time, or what I'm trying to get things to on time. So thank you all once more for showing up and supporting the channel. Appreciate all of your uh, views that you've been giving us. If you do like the comment, once again, please do hit the like button. It really helps out the series. Uh, if you enjoy the content, please subscribe so you can catch new videos in the future. And do please leave a comment down below, especially if you'd like to see your name appear in the series. We will be doing that. Uh, so whoever comments on this series, if you either have a nickname you'd like to use or if you want to use your username, we'll make sure that happens for you. Once we get through this unskippable dialogue. Da -da 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 -da. Yep, I've been doing that already. Gathering gems and filling up the Pokedex. Thank you very much. Oh my goodness, we're still not done. This is absolutely ridiculous. We're going to need the fashion case, which uh, we're probably not going to mess with in this playthrough unless we absolutely have to. It is a thing. Other people do it in their playthroughs if you're interested in it. And if you want to see it, drop a comment. I might be willing to do it, but most likely we're not going to. So, thank you all again. I hope you have a wonderful day. Until we meet each other again, bye-bye. And God bless you all.